I am two things. I, I'm doing a Halloween tour. I go home for about a week, and then I leave for a Halloween tour, which means that I'm playing all haunted venues in the cities. And so uh, I've been working up my Halloween, Halloween set. The reason why I'm doing this is because in my spare time, when I'm not writing extremely uh, happy upbeat songs, Writing horror movie songs. So in my spare time, I sit around with scripts that people send me in LA, and they say we want a song that sounds sort of like this. And here's the scene: there's six thousand zombies chasing a person, and we need we need the music for that. So I'll, I'll open up with um, a song that, that Mr. Rich over here sent me a bunch of, of uh, questions, and I didn't, I didn't answer any of them, so I'm going to turn them here right now as we speak. So to answer your question, Rich, no, this song was not written as a lullaby for my son, and in fact, that's kind of terrifying when you know that I wrote it about zombies. And actually, truth be told, my son is terrified of this song because he's terrified of zombies. As he should be. And um, don't tell him that because I've been trying to convince him for like three years that zombies are not real, so. <laughs> zombies are nice, they're vegetarians, they're uh, um, people or grains. Um, so the scene that I was sent. And, and bear in mind, not, not all the songs get put in the scene that I'm, I'm picturing because sometimes the song will not get in, a, in that movie, but it will get put in another one or whatever. So, so this one was for a B-level a B horror movie. The scene was there were a bunch of zombies chasing a person. And this this was the the music to that. So you have to you have to imagine zombies chasing you, otherwise the song is really obscure. This song is called "Don't Be Afraid."
There was this fellow that I was kind of casually dating. And uh, very quickly I realized that something was wrong with him. It was that he could not get over his ex-girlfriend. So I did what any normal musician would do. I wrote a really hateful song about him. I recorded it, and I put it on a record, and then I, then I went and played it all over the world, and tonight I'm playing it in Santa Rosa, California, so all of you people can know how much I dislike this person. And this song goes with our, with our, our Halloween theme.
joke, so I was gonna, I was gonna, I'm gonna hackle you and harass you. Oh, 
scared my, somebody yelled up from the street out there. She's like, Whoa! Wait till you hear my impression. No, I, I kind of scared myself whenever I was thinking about, whenever I was singing along with this in the car, I sound similar to her, and I had never really thought about that.
I got too sweet. Don't do that. Don't do that. We don't know what to do with that. So how about a murder song? Yeah. Who has the one to kill that? So when I killed this guy this one time, I um. Were you acquitted? No charges. He got killed. Yeah, I uh. I haven't. I have never shot a gun. I do have a massive revolver tattoo, though. I love it. <laughs> we have a photo opportunity for that. So, a song I wrote with a buddy named Jason Charles Miller. That's in L.A. I just played a show with him actually. And. Uh, he is the lead singer of a metal band named Godhead, or was the lead singer of a metal band named Godhead, I should say. Um, and now he's an old country guy, which is, is really awesome. But um, when I found out that I was writing with the, the, a former lead single, singer of a metal band, I thought, oh my god, I'm not going to have anything to write about with this guy. And then we very quickly got on the top of the murder. I said I like murder. I don't like murder, I just like murder songs. So I decided to write a, a murder song from the standpoint of a woman and then I wrote a, 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 a sequel to it that ended up on my record. The truth is like a rattlesnake Best left alone That's what the sheriff said When the headline read Judge Johnson said When he's gone I was at the church Now when Bobby was determined On the night he disappeared Well, anybody else Anybody there That's what you're going to hear Some Because a lot of 
That's what the Church of Christ says. Anytime a tongue is in the air, it shall be born.
got a couple more for you. They are Halloween related, most of them. So like I said, I write for, for, for horror movies. And one of the scripts that I got in one day was, uh, where are you going, Rich? Where are you going, Rich? Okay, you go. You make that quick, because this is the song you've been asking me to play all night.
Oh, man. 